Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, what did we even do last time? I don't remember. But this time, we are in Mirkwood. Oh, goodness. Can I light these? I can. Okay, so that's good. I, I'll at least have that. But as soon as I run out of this torch, I'm done. Man. This is more Lost Woodsy than the Lost Woods were, and I was already impressed by that. What was that? What was that growl? Did you hear that? That was scary. Hello. Another torch, please? That would be nice. An opal. That's not a torch. What are you talking about, game? I need a torch. Peace. Uh, I probably shouldn't fight them with that. If I find an enemy... First of all, that's that's so scary, but I should walk back into the light. What on earth? Oh, it was just them dying. Okay, let's walk back through here. And this is scary. I don't know what to do with all this scariness. At least the the worst they've thrown at me were were keys. Walk through these pillars. Okay, wolves. Wolves are fine. I can I can tangle with wolves. I don't like killing wolves, but I got raw gourmet meat, which is better than anything I've gotten thus far. Heading up these stairs. Did I find it? No. Actually, you know what this reminds me of now? With this pillar? Oh, hello. A bunch of torches. Goodness. Uh, I can throw this away. Let's take a torch. Should I take another torch? No, I think not. Actually, you know what I, I will do? This is the torch that I have. I'll throw that one away and get this one. Open this chest. You know what this does remind me of now? Is, uh, oh, what's it called? The, uh, the Gerudo Desert. In Ocarina of Time. With the, the platform, you know? Star Fragment, what? Okay. You know, actually, you know what? If this is... Anything like Ocarina of Time, no. I'm not in the dark. Don't, don't eat me. Okay. Let's jump down. Walk forward. Got some mushrooms, which are pretty inviting. Who doesn't like mushrooms? I, I don't. I don't not like mushrooms. They're, they're cool. And mushroomy. Which way is that pointing? That way. Getting the Lost Woods music again. Hello, you. Also, these are, I just realized, these are the bird statues from, vaguely, from Skyward Sword. Oh, where am I going? Oh, man. That was scary. I just need to remember, if I ever run out of this torch, I can just turn around and walk towards the other bird. Oh! Oh! Did I find it? Did I win? Where am I? Towards the middle. At least they haven't pulled any jump scares. Like... The the Freddy... Ooh, what is this? Like, if they pulled a, a Freddy jump scare on me and just flashed his his face on the screen, I would die. Of course Sif can't hear my call. He's half a continent away. Okay, well, like this. Man, the light granted by the torches, or the by the, the pedestals, are by no means equal to the light that my torch gives me. You'd think Link would be able to use the, uh, the gamepad that he has, the Sheikah Slate, to give him light, but no. No, he's not able to. What is up there? I thought that was a weird symbol on the tree. And what are these ruins even of? They're not naturally forming a maze. You know what this... Oh, man. You know what I got feels of now? Where is it? Oh. Okay, that's kind of creepy. They knew I would head there. This is odd. There's a luminescent stone there, which I really don't want to deal with. You know, this reminds me of Shadow of the Colossus right now. Oh! Hello. Hello. Is this it? Oh, wait, we need to get the ball. Oh, we need to get the ball. What is that? What is that? Is that a, just a keys? 
Well, thankfully I have I have my shield. Oh, it's a Hinox. Are you kidding me? A Hinox. Or okay, can I get more light here? I can. Well, I'm fighting this guy. Let's get up here. Light this. I just want to kind of dance around at the moment and slowly light all of these. I don't think it will help me especially, but it will at least help me to see. And that's really all I care about at the moment. I'd love to be able to see. Yes, hello, Hinox. Okay, I, I appear to have lit, lit all of them. All right, Hinox time. Get over here. Where are you? Do where are you going? Let's switch arrows over to shock arrow. Oh, I missed. Uh, let's not. You have torch out. I have my ar my good armor, which is good. You. Let's shoot him in the eye. Charge up an attack. Like this, kind of. And hopefully he doesn't sit on me. Ow, that hurt. That hurt. Heal me. Okay. Let's eat. Uh, what's the worst one I have? That's not that good. I'll eat that. You. Get over here. Should I think I shot him in the eye. Yeah, I shot him in the eye. Okay. Remember, I need to remember not to target him because targeting him makes the uh, the camera all wibbly wobbly. He has armor on his on his his legs. Can I hit his? No, I, I can't hit his eye from here. There, there goes my spear. What else do I have? The claymore, or I'd rather use a longer reaching weapon. I don't think I can. Oh, that's a guardian spear. I don't think I can freeze him, but I can give it a shot. Yeah, I can't freeze him. Oh, missed. It still does a lot of damage, but I missed. And now he's covering his face. Run out of the way! I can barely see him. This is dealing a good amount of damage. Running now. This is me running. And switching over to a spear because it has a longer reach. Ugh. Come on, finish him off. He's almost dead. In fact, you know what? I want to try out this Master Sword. I told, I said I was going to flick around with it, but I haven't yet. Here. You. Try and... Oh, ow. That hurt me bad. But I still want to hurt him bad with this. What's up? You're dead. I poked you in the toe with the Master Sword. Oh, that... Oh, the Master Sword hurt me. Oh, the Master Sword is hurting me. Oh. Unless he just hit me. That's also possible. Uh, let's do this. Oh, that was a trial. Roasted carp. How does he even live here? It's all dark and stuff, and he only has one eye. Did he just stumble around all day? Poor man. Roasted trout. And now I should be able to walk back, because back is this way. I wonder if this will light up when I, I drop this in the pedestal. That would be neat. I would love to see where I actually am. Because they modeled all of this. It's just all dark. Can't even see what's coming out. For all I know, that's another enemy. Oh, I, I guess I can barely see it now. They're really playing to the strengths of the darkness here to create an atmosphere that's really cr oh, Look at how creepy that looks! That looks so creepy. It's like you're you're stumbling across a a death shrine. It's not like a normal shrine. It it gives you death orbs instead of spirit orbs, and death orbs are not cool, man. Death orbs. Wait, what? Can I? Okay, this is scary, but yeah, that was kind of scary. The Keto Wawai shrine. And let's not walk into the darkness. Darkness is scary. And no one likes the darkness. Also, why are... That was weird. What is back here? Anything? I mean, we're in a room. That's weird. Man, this is so creepy. It looks like Survivor as well, which is cool. Okay, let's go into the, the Kawaii Shrine or whatever. Oh, this is much better. The Keto Wawaii Shrine. Or Blessing. And we get armor, an ancient, an ancient core. Kidding me? We get an ancient core. Well, that's 
okay, I guess. The real question is whether or not the area will light up outside. Okay, that was disturbing. And the answer is no. This place does not light up. That's... weird. It makes me wonder how much stuff is hidden down here. If I could just start walking in, in a direction... Okay, you know what? It's gonna freak me out, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna test it. What happens if I just walk in a direction? Oh, there's another one. I just walk. Do I die? Does Do I get jump scared? Another one? Just keep walking. What happens to me? Game. It looks like I can't cross this. I mean, I could climb it, but that's no fun. I guess I should climb it. Okay, let's find out. Ugh. Just keep running. What happens? I'm running. I can't even see what I'm doing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What am I what am I clamoring for? Oh. I'm here. I, I I crossed it. Oh, it it ran out of gutsy goose. Okay, so what happens? I lit this, I crossed it. What happens to me? I'm going way outside the far reaches. Do I just get lost forever? I hear enemies. And this is really creepy. If I get creeped out too much, I'm just gonna warp out. But so far, it doesn't look like I get hurt from this. It looks like I can just wander around at will. Oh, hello. I thought there was a swarm. Now I need to be careful because too much further and I'm actually outside of this. But it looks like that I don't really I don't really get hurt from this. Odd. I need to walk this way now. And now I'm outside. And interesting. Can I just leave normally? I can just jump to this. Or that happens, which is stupid. Okay, I'm I'm heading out. This is really creepy, but I'm doing it. Can I just leave? I'm almost at the other side of the shore. In fact, I can see something on the other side of the shore. Oh. Hello. Really? Well, here I am. I can even see inside. Creepy, man. Creepy. Can I get out? I can. Well, that was really creepy. I got some Shadow of the Colossus feels. I got some Lost Woods feels. And I got some chills up my spine, but we did it! Even though I would have loved to see this place rid of its darkness, we still did it. And uh, that's the beginning of this episode, so I have no clue what we're going to be doing with the rest. I think I'm going to head over to this mountain, fly back to Sif, and head down this path? Maybe? Actually, no. Okay, the first thing I would like to do is go and defeat this, this Stalnox. The next thing is I would like to... I'm, com I'm completing the map in a counterclockwise fashion, in case it isn't obvious, but we've already discovered this shrine, so I think I should go and explore this area, at the very least. There's also a quest down here which I, I need to do. Uh, there are some quests to be found in the Zora's Domain, which I need to tackle, so I think I'll start with the Stalnox, and then head over to the, uh, the Zora, Do Zora's Domain. Okay, let's do that. Balloons! Floaty balloons! The weather's so bad you can't even see the sky. Hey, listen to me, mister. I sometimes see it in my dreams. Do you think that a long time ago people used to live in the sky? I think so. Hey, mister. Just once in my life, I want to see balloons fly right up into the sky. If you help me realize my balloon dream, I'll give you a treasure I got from the skies, thanks. Leave it to me. Thank you. Now put now put some balloons onto a barrel and make it float up high. Floaty! Balloons soaring high in the sky! 
I fly up and away to the land in the clouds. I want to visit the land in the sky by balloon. Then I'm going to ride a really big bird. Yep, that's my dream. Thank you, mister. This is a treasure from the sky. Here, take it. And we got a gratitude crystal. So in order to get this to this Hinox, first I have to take out a guardian, which is fun. Hey, hey, hey. Hello? Mr. Guardian? There you go. And boop. <laughs> Are you going to fall into the water? Because I'll gladly push you into the water. Oh, shoot him. Got him. Can I push him into the water? What happens when that happens? Look at me. Look me in the eye. Let me push you into the water. Oh, he's almost... Oh, hello. Can I... I, I guess I can't push him in the water. That's unfortunate. Okay, let's equip a... Ancient Blade Saw. Actually, no, let's, let's try out the Master Sword. I have a Master Sword. This thing seems to want to kill him. Hey! Oi! You wanna... You wanna die? <laughs> uh... Uh... Um... Is that supposed to happen? Can you get out? No, he can't. He cannot get out. They are not submarines. And, uh, I don't get my reward either. Actually, wait, I might get my reward. One moment. No, I don't get my reward. He just, uh... He just, uh, takes a swim. Okay. Okay, so Stelnox. I need to be able to find him quick. There he is. Hey! Stink Eye! Get over here! You! You! Yeah, get over here. I'm talking to you. Do I have any bombs left? I don't. But I have these. Which will work. I do not want to use the Master Sword. Instead, I would like to use a... Uh, uh, probably a spear. Yeah, probably. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to get rid of these stupid torches. It sounds... You know what? Actually, no. That, that, that don't work. Okay, let me just throw this at him. There. I actually did a sizable amount of damage. I'm going to throw the rest at him. And uh, do do at least a little bit of damage. And I think I even grounded him. Har or Sif, why are you here? Let's use... Let's use the Claymore. I need to be careful that I don't die. I just realized I don't have Mipha's Blessing. Everything is terrible. Let's eat that. Kill him with our attack boost. I need to remember I do have Druk's Blessing. Ooh, that's damage. Oh, you have a you have a thing in your thigh. Poor guy. I also do, do not have a fairy, so I need to remember that. Here, if he attacks me, will Druk do, do his thing? Kind of. Oh, it still blows me back. Sif, get out of here. Thank you. Got him. Oh, that insta-killed him. Goodness. Did I, I just hit him with an, one arrow. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. Where's his eye? Where's his eye? I forgot. That didn't insta-kill him. I need to kill his eye. Ah, oh, I forgot about the eye. Come on, turn back. Face me like a man. Ah, come on. Grab one of your ribs. Oh, he's gonna get a tree. That's my chance. Come on. Ah, oh, I missed. Okay, come on. What do you got? What have you got? You gonna try and hit me? I hit him, but that wasn't enough. Oh, he did. He didn't even get through Daruk's protection. Oh, Daruk. Good job. Thank you, man. Oh, come on. Get rid of your eye. You're so close. Whoa. Got him. Got him in the face. And there is his eye. Which is dead. Whew. I get a flame spear out of that. And another notch in my in my gear. Giant boomerang. Knight's broadsword. And a Hinox tooth. Well, nice. 
Oh, that was nice. Is Sif alive? He, he's alive. He came a little bit too close for comfort, but he lived through the experience. Which is more than I can say for this stupid guardian. A trial awaits. la dee do A gift from the sky, a scale of light. Oh, you're the Hylian who helped our Prince Sidon. You're so handsome. Your looks still don't compare to Prince Sidon, of course. I wonder who she's in trying trying to impress. But you're not half bad. In fact, I wouldn't mind talking to you for a bit. Hee <laughs> hee. Want to talk? What was that song? Oh, I just love singing. I even remember the song from the Champion Festival. Do you want to hear it? I'd love to hear it. Okay, I'm going to sing it now. The Champion Festival song. A gift from the sigh, a scale of light. Splits the feet of the veiled falls sight. Your trial awaits. It's glowing bright. I really don't get what the song's about, but I'm going to sing it until the next champion festival. Mr. Trello is supposed to get the festival together, but he hasn't done anything for it yet. I wonder what's wrong with him. Did he forget what his job was? Okay, so let's hear, hear that again. Just one more time. La la la. Splits the feet of the veiled... Hmm. Odd. Who's Trello? Trello is the old man who organizes the Champion Festival. His family has been entrusted with guarding the light scale trident used in the festival, the Champion Festival for generations. He started mumbling and walked over there in a huff. I wonder if he's upset about having to prepare the festival. I'm a little bit worried about him. And Prince Sidon? Prince Sidon is so handsome. He's what every girl dreams of. Is there anything else you'd like to <laughs> like to know? Bye. Okay, so we have a quest. I noticed that the last time I was in town buying arrows, and so I want to check that out. Gift from the sky, a scale of light, splits the feet of a veiled false sight. Your trial awaits, it's glowing bright. So obviously there's a shrine, and there are some falls involved, and to complete this quest, or at least to get some indication, we need to talk to Mr. Man over here. He started walking off... Let's see. Trello, huh? He's old, we know that much. Are you Trello? You're Muzu. Let's see, who is over here? Are you Trello? Certainly he, this is Trello. Maybe. Trello? Yeah, this is Trello. I knew you were the same Link from 100 years ago. You did a fine job this time. La may Lady Mifa's spirit live on for, uh, within all of us. Now then, I must devise a plan to find the light scale trident. Or the ceremonial trident. It's used in a festival to honor Champion Mifa. The, the Champion's Festival light scale trident. Well, it's a fake. I plan to have that ceremonial trident examined by Dento, but on the way there, I dropped it off the bridge. It doesn't really matter. It's a fake, after all. I'll just have to ask Dento to make a new one. If someone happens to pick it up, they can just keep it. Okay, so there's something down here. Well, that's good to know. So... Okay, there it is. Ah, that's easy enough. We'll get over to this. Switch over to this. Still can't reach it. No, no, no. That should be close enough, I think. And... We grabbed it. What is this thing? Ooh, it's very pretty. Here, let's get it a little bit closer. Link. A little bit closer. There. Ceremonial Trident. A spear modeled after the light scale trident wielded by Zora Champion Mifa. They may be identical in appearance, but this spear's strength and durability are in... Wait. Are inferior. Inferior? Oh, I can't carry it. Uh, throwing away the branch, which is useless. Well, neat, but that doesn't complete the quest. If you find the spear and recreate the actions from the song, a, tr a new trial may open. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What are the, the things? Accidentally dropped it. If you find the spear and recreate the actions from the song, a new trial may open. A gift from the sky, a scale of light, splits the feet of a veiled falls sight. Your trial awaits. It's glowing bright. Veiled falls, huh? What, what can we do about that with the map? Oh, Veiled Falls! Oh, Veiled Falls. 
Uh, fastest way there. Fastest way there. So here are the Veiled Falls. We have the Trident. The, I'm correct. These are yeah. These these are the Veiled Falls. So let's stand on this rock. Oh, I can even see it. I can see it underwater. You see that? We don't wait. We need a ball. We need a ball though. Wait, no. There's no thing in this one. So here, L let's look at this. The, the splits the feet of a Veiled Falls site. Gift from the sky, a scale of light. Oh, no, we don't need a scale, do we? Certainly, I just, like, you know, swing this a few times. Maybe, maybe I throw this at the water? That's not it. I wonder if this, what is this, has, if maybe I need to swim up the thing, because it says... A gift from the sky, a scale of light. So, I don't know, maybe I need to swim up the thing. We'll see. What does this do? I swam up it. You know what? Let's, let's try this. Jump down. Fall down a little bit. And press Y. That was not it. Maybe... I, I kind of missed it. Maybe I need to get a little bit closer to home. Just do this. And I don't want to die, so I'll do it from, say, this height? Yeah, this height should be enough. Wait, wait. Skirbloosh. Did this do it? Uh, that did it. Okay. I was kind of worried. In fact, I even went over to Mount Laneru to see if the dragon was there. And it was not. Uh, it was not at all. Because it says a gift of, of light, like a scale. Maybe, you know, it, it wanted that. But no, it just wanted me to hit the thing with the trident. And we get our shrine. I always thought that this part of the map was strangely empty. We did it. I think I killed a bass in the process. Okay, so we get our reward. What will this reward be? I already have all the pieces of the, the Zora armor, so I don't know. Daga Keek's Blessing. Another core? A silver rupee. Eh, that's not terrible. I need the money. Don't look at my rupee count. Just believe me, I, I need the money. So the last thing I would like to do this episode, even though there is still a little bit more to do in the Zora's Domain, is... to, uh... <laughs> Go kill the Lionel, because we have come a long way since we first saw that Lionel, and back then, we weren't even supposed to fight it, and yet we tried. But now, I am, I'm to a point where I'm not unstoppable, certainly not, but I, I can defeat Guardians, and so I want to know if I can defeat this as well. So, let's, let's see what I can, I can do against this thing. I do want to try riding it first, not because I, I think I can tame it, but because I know I can get some free damage in on it while I'm on its back. So I want to do this a little bit stealthily. I know it's directly above me right now, so I'm going to switch over to the climbing gear, climb up to a place where it cannot see me, and fly onto its back. Here we go. Here's the test. Gonna fly right onto its back. It can't hear me while I'm in the air. I may have to land on this rock, actually. Yep. And... Mount! Or not. That's unfortunate. Oh, boy. And there goes my arm, my, uh, Dirk's protection. Oh, boy. Well, good thing I have armor this time. Okay, uh, I have a bow. I'm gonna get out of the way here. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna climb this rock, actually. Uh, I know it has, uh... It has shock arrows. But. Whoa. You missed. Come on. Get some damage in. Oh, I, I missed the, sh the shield bash. I also have more food than I had last time. Last time I was not prepared. I can also just block if I want to. Whoa, I got the flurry rush. Get in there. He's already down to three quarters HP. Ow. Okay, uh, no, I, I can I can sustain one more blow before needing to heal. 
Oh! Backflipping over the the attack is the key. Broadsword is badly damaged. Ah, okay, okay. Now I I am down to uh amount of health that's a little bit concerning, so let's just use a full recovery. And shoot him. Oh, ow. Yeah, sidestepping is not the key. He's almost down to half health. And that hurt. Oh, I can't even see him. He's so fast. Oh, I think I think the key is just to block my shield. Oh, he's, he's still powerful. I was a bit worried that he would be easy. So, oh boy. I think I have my shield up, so I'm fine. Let's take out the Claymore. And shield bash him. Oh, I thought the Claymore was a... A one-handed weapon. Oh, that's bad. Uh, switching over to... Not the Master Sword. The Master Sword? Master Sword. Oh, he's coming. Whoa, what is this? Woo! That's a new attack. We've gotten him to a new phase. And now... Ah... Uh, now I want to use this updraft to my advantage. Okay. Perfect. Get some free damage in on him with the Master Sword. Oh, that did not feel good. Heal before I die. There. And sidesteps do not work. He's almost dead. And I think it's, it's time that I start plinking at him with shock arrows. And not getting hit like that. He's still immensely powerful. Oh, running. Running, running. Running, running. That's three. Shoot him with the shock arrow. Ah, I'm not able to jump back. I'm kind of worried. I may have to use an ancient arrow. Oh, man. He is so powerful. Uh, movement speed boosts. Whatever. Actually, do I have anything better? No, I do not. Oh, uh, boy. Starting to get worried. This guy's really powerful. Whoa! Oh, 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 that's my chance. That's my chance. No. Okay, uh, I don't think I shield bashing him is possible. So, attack up Claymore. Yeah. Perfect. That's really good. Ah, I'm trying to jump to the bat, jump backwards, but it's just not letting me. Got a flurry rush. Really easy flurry rush, might I add. And this is some free damage. He is down to a quarter HP for the first time. Oh, no, 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 no. Not like this. Not like this. Uh, these do nothing. This is not a full heal. Oh, high level defense boost? I have that? Uh, oh. Well, let's do that. And then eat some drought. Perfect. Full health, once again. Whoa! Jump to the side barely managed to avoid him. He's getting really desperate, actually. Come on, get on him. Oh, I can't jump on him. Ow. Come on, buddy. What are you doing? Fire attack? I still have ancient arrows. Remember that. One more attack. Nope. How'd he miss? I have my shield. Perfect. What is he gonna do? Perfect. He is really telegraphed with his attacks. He's almost dead, uh, but so am I. So, this plus a backflip. Two backflips. Draw out my Royal Claymore, and this should be the end of him. I think it is. The end of a Lionel. Wow. Whoa. Lionel Bow, which it shoots multiple arrows at once, a spread, unlike the, the other bow, 30 shock arrows, Lionel Guts, a Lionel Sword, wow, a Lionel Horn, and what is this? A Lionel Shield. He had a shield? I thought that was an axe. Wow. I did it. And that was so difficult. That was the guy, that enemy is what we faced earlier on in the LP and could not defeat it then. And th that thing inst would insta-kill us. And we just faced it and it was still difficult. 
Lionels, man! What even are they? Oh, oh, those are birds. What even are Lionels? They're so powerful. That's crazy. I was... I thought this was going to be cake. But it wasn't. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I could make the next episode so that you would like it. Next time, unless you guys give me some direction, I'm going to cook up some food. And I'm going to go hunting for that other Lionel. Let's see, where was it? It was in the Coliseum Ruins. I want to fight that thing. Because that thing is much more difficult. I don't think it's a normal Lionel. And so I want to try killing that. I'll have a lot more food. And thus I'll be a lot, uh, much better prepared for that. But that's my intent. Alright. See you guys next time. I release new episodes of Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. And episodes of Pikmin 2 every Tuesday and Thursday. See you guys next time. But otherwise, also, I have no clue what I'm doing from here on out. I think it's going to be story stuff, so heading into this region... Well, actually... Heading into this region, maybe, and then heading north, I guess? I don't know. I might I might go here, I might go here. I have I have looked here before, but I'm thinking we're going to be going west. Because we have, in, we have encountered most of the eastern part of the map. Well, I guess there's still stuff to do in Zora's Domain, so I don't know. Tell me what you want me to do. Tell me what where I should go first. Like, should I go to the south part for story stuff, or should I go to the north start part for story stuff? Okay, thank you so guys so much for watching, and join me next time in another episode of Pal Plays Breath of the Wild. And you have that. Remember, you're not immune to hazards. Oh, why did I? What am I doing? What am I doing? If I drown Pikmin from that. Okay, there's some water over here. I need you to take care of if that's possible. And there's fire over here. So, so I can pay for all this gut junk, or can I only do it once a day? Time for some instruction intro introduction. Hi. Carson, we are on. I'm with you.